Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Thagarji Patshala and today I will give you knowledge about string efficiency, a phenomena which is related to electrical engineering, specially related with high voltage transmission line. So, first of all, what is string efficiency? When you look at high voltage overhead transmission line, particularly at its insulator, then you will see there is no pin or shackle type insulator. But Instead, there is a string of disk type insulator. So, when line is under operating condition, basically what happens is that disk near to the line conductor experiences highest stress and as we go upward, the other disk experiences less stress as compared to the disk which is near to the line conductor. This uneven voltage distribution is called as string efficiency. So, if there is more fluctuation between voltage level, then the string efficiency less and if there is less voltage fluctuation between two disks, then the string efficiency is higher. Now, let's take a look at how to calculate string efficiency. We can calculate string efficiency by following equation. That is, voltage across the string divided by n into voltage across the unit nearest to the conductor. If you see at figure then voltage across the string means the summation of voltage between all the disks which is in this case V1 plus V2 plus V3 divided by N. Here N is the number of disk units multiplied by voltage across the nearest unit to the conductor which is V1. Let's take a look at factors that affect string efficiency. It decreases as the number of unit of disk increases. It depends on the ratio of self capacitance to shunt capacitance. It depends upon weather condition. It decreases in weight condition. Maybe you cannot understand the last two factors. So I will post the second part of video. So check that out. You can find the link in description. Let's take a look at problems that can occur with poor string efficiency. Due to poor string efficiency, the burden on the disc near to the conductor increases. Due to that, chances of failure of that disk increases. Due to poor string efficiency, all the disks cannot be used pro properly. The worst case scenario is that, in case of failing insulator disk, the whole network can experience blackout. Thank you for watching this video guys. Stay tuned and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss the second part of this video series. In that, I will explain about shunt and mutual capacitance, also how to improve string efficiency in detail. If you are watching this video on computer, then you can see the titles of different topics. So click on them to go to that topic. And if you are using mobile device, then you can find same in the description box.